patient had tried uh, various forms of diet and uh, exercise but still she was unable to uh, lose these uh, localized areas of fat deposition abdomen area uh, the backs the flanks and also her thighs she was examined and uh, we found that she was an, uh, a candidate for uh, 360 degree laser uh, liposuction Initially, we infiltrate with uh, tumescent fluid uh, into the areas uh, of treatment. The laser probe is used to following the infiltration of tumescent. Uh, we are using the laser uh, device, ultrasound uh, assisted liposuction device. Following the laser treatment, the next uh, step is the uh, aspiration of the uh, uh, fat and uh, liposculpture of the fat uh, using the uh, microwire power assisted cannula. We have just completed uh, debulking the upper and lower abdomen areas. Uh, now we are going to do some liposculpting to the abdomen to give her some definition. Now we are going to give her some uh, a definition. Uh, to the upper abdomen uh, following liposuction some patients uh, can have uh, a bit of skin laxity so to address the skin uh, the loose skin we are now using uh, the body tight device uh, which is an rf this is used to uh, tighten the skin to give a much better uh, contour and definition to the uh, abdomen we have now completed the 360 degrees liposuction for this patient of the abdomen area uh, the backs the flanks and also her thighs Uh, when we aspirate more than 5 liters of fat it is advisable to have a one night uh, post operative uh, stay in the hospital uh, this is to uh, manage the uh, any fluid imbalance which can occur due to mega when we are aspirating large volumes of fat if you have any questions regarding liposuction or body contouring uh, please do comment below and we can get back to you also do like this page and do sub subscribe to our channel thank you